If you've ever wanted to edit the design of a PDF in Canva but found that you couldn't, now you can thanks to a new beta feature. By the end of this video, you'll know how to customize PDFs like the ones that I've created in my Gumroad shop, which you can find linked below, and many, many more. Hello and welcome to or back to Passive Income Templates. My name is Laura and this channel is all about simplifying your self-publishing journey with ready to upload resources so that you can save time and make money with print on demand. In my most recent video, which I will link above, we talked about creating a composition notebook cover in Canva and I shared ready to use resources, including a free composition notebook paper bundle. So in this video, let's try out this feature on those pages and see how you can make them truly your own. So if you go to create a design, you can see that there's this button here for import PDF. And it seems like this new feature is like Adobe Acrobat or the Adobe PDF Reader because once you import your file, it will be editable. So keep in mind, it's a beta feature, so it's, it may not be perfect, but let's try it out and see if it works for our needs. So I'm going to be downloading the Composition Notebook Bundle. If you want to follow along, all you have to do is head over to the Gumroad shop and input a zero, add to cart, and you will get the college and wide ruled files. Um, so let's load up the wide ruled file and I will be right back. Okay, so I've just imported the wide ruled notebook paper. As you can see, I can't individually edit the lines for some reason. I don't know why, um, but there's still plenty that we can do with this document. So first of all, let's just delete this first page and we'll add a dedication or this notebook belongs to and then let's go ahead and create a draw and write notebook so even though we can't take out the individual lines here we can double click on this element and just crop it so that we can create a little space for kids to draw and then write. So let's just take this down a little bit more and let's add in a line just to cap off this little section here. Change the color and change the size while we're at it. Okay, so there we have a draw and write notebook page and for the page that's going to be beside it in the spread, let's just leave that one for the most part as is, but let's add a maybe a star element. a little star graphic of some kind. Um, let's pop in these ones and I always like to change the color to gray if it's going to be a document that I'm printing in black and white. So let's just add those and take the opacity way down. And there, that's all we really need to do to have a totally customized interior. So what we would need to do from here is just delete all of these other pages if that is something that you want to do and then just bring our total back up to 100 pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate these until I have the right number of pages and then our document will be ready to save again as a print ready PDF. Another 
couple more that we need to add. 97. Um, 98, 99, let's duplicate, duplicate these, and then we'll just add in a blank page at the end to get us to an even number of pages. And with that all finished, all we need to do is hit download, switch over to print PDF, and download. So now I've imported my meal planner file, also in my Gumroad shop, and you can see that there's many more elements that you can actually edit and customize here. So first of all, let's change the font, just because we can. And let's delete all of these blocks here. And let's trade it out for a, just a simple line. And just line it up over here. And let's swap out this for a piece of bread. resize that here and now we have a totally customized page of our meal planner so if you wanted to duplicate that once again all you'd have to do is delete out all these other pages and make any other adjustments so that these pages are totally uniform and then of course download print PDF when you're all ready to go again if you made it this far, I thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Happy customizing with these documents. Let me know how you make out with this feature.